All over the globe, cities are growing in size, in space, in population. More than half the world's populations now lives in cities. And nowhere is the pace of urbanization being felt more acutely than in Asia, home to 16 of the planet's megacities. Spurred by economic growth throughout the region, by 2030, the number of Asia's megacities is forecast to rise to 23. That means more demands for energy, more transportation, more industries, and a greater reliance on fossil fuels, leading to greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. Many of Asia's cities are already blanketed in clouds of toxic haze, and the urban populations are increasingly suffering the brunt of the health impacts as pollution levels worsen. With millions dying prematurely each year, it's the world's single greatest environmental health threat. Balancing the energy, transportation, and industrial needs of expanding cities with healthy air quality is one of the biggest challenges facing city authorities. At Clean Air Asia, we are helping cities to meet these challenges with our guidance framework for better air quality in Asian cities, targeted at national and local level policy and decision makers and organized around six priority air quality management areas. The guidance framework maps out a series of steps and actions to guide cities in the development of cleaner, greener, and healthier urban spaces. These six components are designed to equip cities with the knowledge and direction they need to effectively reduce air pollution. Guidance Area 1, Air Quality Standards and Monitoring. Assist national governments in the development and strengthening of ambient standards and city governments in the implementation of monitoring programs to better protect public health and the environment. Guidance Area 2, Emissions Inventories and Modeling. Enable cities to better understand the different sources and levels of air pollutants and how they are dispersed, and to evaluate current and projected future emissions. Guidance Area 3, health, and other impacts. Assist cities in developing and strengthening local and national programs to enable them to consistently monitor the health, environmental, and economic impacts of air pollution. Guidance Area 4, Air Quality Communication. Assist cities in developing effective communication strategies aimed at informing and educating stakeholders and increasing their engagement in all aspects of air quality management. Guidance Area 5, Clean Air Action Plans. Assist cities in developing and strengthening policies and legislation that help improve air quality across multiple sectors. Guidance Area 6, Governance. Enable cities to establish good governance approaches that are conducive for the implementation of clean air policies and mechanisms covering all aspects of air quality management. These steps take into consideration three key factors. A city's management processes, such as its management abilities, its resources, and its institutional structures that aid in decision-making. Its technical processes, such as its scientific knowledge, technical skills, tools and equipment that assist with implementation, and general considerations, such as finances and human resources, stakeholder involvement, and other elements that affect implementation and the achievement of goals. Essentially, the guidance framework is a roadmap to cleaner air. It caters to all cities, irrespective of the level of air pollution or their ability to manage air quality, from the least developed to the most developed. It defines five different urban development stages to help cities assess their air quality status and capacity and in tailoring what needs to be done to progress further along the development spectrum. Along the way, through our integrated program for better air quality, we provide cities with technical support and online resources to help them meet their goals and to better align them with regional and international global air quality targets, such as the long-term vision for urban air quality in Asia by 2030, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Paris Agreement, and the new urban agenda. Our guidance framework is empowering cities to transform Asia's urban landscapes systematically, strategically, and holistically, helping us move towards a cleaner, greener, and healthier future.